Good evening and welcome back to Styling Stadium at Elm Street Park in Greenville, North Carolina for the last full play game of the 2019 eight to 10 year old Tournament of State Champions. Today's matchup is going to feature the state champion out of South Carolina, Irmo Little League versus the state champion out of Virginia with Loudoun South American Little League out of South Riding, Virginia being the Virginia state representative. Your starting lineup for the squad out of South Carolina, the visiting team, Chase Ellis, number nine, playing third base, Hart Massacup, Number five, playing shortstop. Number 44, Braylon Graham, playing first base. Number 42, Jackson Knotts in left field. Number three, Heath McElroy at second base. Number 36, Jackson Phipps is behind the plate. Number 29, Brody Ludlum is in center field. Number two, Kyler Baker is on the mound. And number 32, Charlie Todd is playing right field. The subs for South Carolina are number four, Cooper Starling, number 10, Hunter Lewis, number 11, Lee Pointer, and number 12, Real Schultz. The South Carolina squad is coached by Casey Phipps and Tom Knotts. The manager is Lee Massacup. Now for the starting lineup for the Virginia representative, Logan Havacos, number three, is doing the catching. Number 40, J.W. Valentini is playing third. Number 21, Ryan Barr is playing shortstop. Number 27, Daniel Lee playing left field. Number 11, Charlie Sampson is on the mound. Number eight, Cole Opsgarden is playing second base. Number 16, Braden Funk playing first base. Number zero, Jeffrey Burpo is playing right field. And number two, Carter Centrone is playing center field. The subs for the Virginia All-Stars, Norman Lopez, number one. Number seven, Teddy Swigert. Number nine, Braden Van Gammert. Number 17, Jackson Cassetta. And number 22, Corbin Reichlin. The Virginia all stars are coached by Matt Valentini and Michael Funk. The manager is Dave Obstgarden. We'll be back shortly for first pitch.
All right, folks, and while we're waiting for the Loudon pitcher to take his warm-up pitches, I'm going to give you a quick recap of the action thus far in the tournament. Right now, North Carolina has finished pool play. They are with a record of 2-1 and one with .77 defensive runs allowed per inning. Virginia is 2-0, and oh, looking to go undefeated if they can win this game. However, they have allowed 1.25 runs per inning. Tennessee squad is 2-1 and one as well with 1.277. Georgia is 2-1 and one at 1.44. South Carolina is 1-1 one one with .833 runs allowed per inning. Florida has finished pool play at a record of 1-2. and two. Alabama is, uh, pardon me, that is not Alabama. That is the North Carolina runner-up. North Carolina runner-up, Wilson City Little League, finished with a record of one and two. Starting battery for the squad out of Virginia. Logan Havkost is behind the plate, and Charlie Sampson is on the mound. Due up this inning for Irmo, Chase Ellis, Hart Massacup, and Braylon Graham. And the first pitch is high for ball one. Irmo Little League needs this game to advance out of pool play. Virginia playing for seating purposes at this point. And 1-0 pitch floats outside for ball two. Both teams may be a little down on their pitching. South Carolina has three kids ineligible to pitch and Virginia has four. 2-0 pitch floats outside for ball three. Sampson, 3-0 count, pitch on the way. Outside for ball four. Chase Ellis draws a leadoff walk for Irmo. Hart Messicup comes to the plate, number five, and he takes on the outer third for a called strike one. Messicup, the starting shortstop for Irmo. 0-1 pitch on the way from Sampson. Just off the plate for ball one. One one count. Massa Cup. Lighter up the middle, speared by the shortstop. Shortstop flips to the second baseman. Second baseman not able to get a handle on the ball. Excellent play by the shortstop from Virginia. To get to that ball and make the flip. We're going to put that down as an infield hit. Braylon Graham, number 44, steps into the batter's box for Irmo. Irmo with runner in scoring position. And Graham takes on the outer corner for strike one. And Graham, high fly ball, left field, left fielder going back. Makes the catch right at the warning track. No advance on the play. Excellent job by the left fielder from Loudon. He had to fight the sun, had to fight the fence. Made the catch for the first out. Number 42, Jackson Knott steps into the box. Knox, a right-handed hitter. And Knox takes on the outside corner for strike one. O one count on Knox. Pitch on the way. Outside gets past the catcher. Play at third. And throw is wide of the bag. 
third baseman does a good job of flagging that ball down and keeping it on the infield, holding that runner to one base. Irmo, two runners in scoring position. Jackson Knotts at the plate, 1-1 one, one count. Knotts takes high for ball two. Two one count on Knotts. Pitch on the way. Skips in, nice block by the catcher. Three one count on Knotts. Pitch on the way. Fouled off. Count goes full on Knotts. Pitch on the way, and that ball's fouled back out of play to the right. Samson. From the stretch, delivers, and that's a hot shot down the first baseline, past the first baseman. Ball gets to the corner. Two runs in for Irmo. Knotts motoring into third. Ball gets past the second baseman, backed up by the left fielder, and Jackson Knotts has a two RBI triple. Irmo Little League out of Irmo, South Carolina, draws first blood, puts two runs on the board, courtesy of a one-out triple by Jackson Knotts. Heath McElroy steps to the plate. McElroy, the second baseman for Irmo, number three. And McElroy with a drive in the right field. Right fielder makes a catch. Ball, throw comes home, play at the plate in time and Knotts is thrown out at the plate. Great throw by the right fielder from Loudon to cut that run down at the plate. Ball was not hit very deeply, but the right fielder with a strike to the catcher. Throw was slightly offline. Catcher had time to get back and make the out. With all that being said, Irmo does bring two runs across the plate here in the top of the first inning to take a 2 nothing lead.
starting battery for the squad out of South Carolina. Jackson Phipps behind the plate and Kyler Baker on the mound for Irma. Do up for Virginia this inning. Logan Havkost, J.W. Valentini, and Ryan Barr. Charlie Sampson finishes his first inning of work on 17 pitches. Number three, Logan Havkost, the catcher for Loudon South, steps into the box, right-handed hitter. Facing Kyler Baker, a right-handed pitcher, throwing from the stretch. First pitch for Baker, sails outside for ball one. What do count on half cost? Pitch on the way. Splits the plate in half for called strike one. One one count on half cost. Baker kicks, delivers, and that's just off the plate for ball two. Two one count on the leadoff batter from Loudon, Virginia. And that pitch is fouled back out of play to the right for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, nobody on, nobody out. Baker from the stretch, delivers high for ball three. Full count on Logan Halfcost. Pitch on the way. And that skips in for ball four. Number 40, J.W. Valentini steps into the box. Left-handed hitting third baseman. One on, nobody out. Bottom of the first inning. Baker kicks, delivers, but hits fair, dribbles foul for strike one. That's going to bring the Irmo third baseman in. He's on the grass. Runner at first, Irmo with the two nothing lead after two runs in the top of the inning. Baker gets a sign, kicks, delivers, and that ball is drilled foul down the left field line. Baker quickly ahead, 0-2 on Valentini. Valentini chokes up, 0-2 count, pitch on the way, and Valentini takes just a little low for ball one. Baker, I'm sorry, half cost on the delayed steal, goes down to second base. Loudon South with a runner in scoring position, 1-2 count on Valentini. One, two pitch on the way. Baker fires, and that ball's chopped up the middle. Pass the diving shortstop into center field. Half cost being waved home. Half cost comes in to score without a throw. And J.W. Valentini with the RBI single. The delayed steal pays off for Loudon South as half cost is able to score on the play. And just like that, Loudon South has cut the 
South Carolina lead in half. Ryan Barr, number 21, the shortstop for the Virginia squad steps in. And first pitch he sees, rifle past the third baseman into left field. Left fielder Fields throws in. And holds Valentini at second. Valentini moves over into scoring position. Two straight singles for the Virginia crowd. Daniel Lee, the cleanup hitter, number 27, steps in the box. The left fielder for the Virginia team. And the first pitch he sees from Baker is lifted high on the infield. Pitcher calls it. First baseman comes in, takes it anyway, makes the catch. Tag play at third. Not in time. Infield fly rule in effect. Valentini tags on the play and goes to third. One out, Charlie Sampson, number 11 at the plate. Sampson, the pitcher for the Virginia squad. Barr goes down to second without a throw. First pitch on Sampson outside for ball one. One out count, Baker delivers. And that ball is driven into right field. Right fielder makes a catch, play at the plate. Throw not in time. And just like that, Loudon South has tied the game. Valentini scores on the sack fly. Barr goes to third on the throw home. Number eight, Cole Opsgarden, the second baseman, steps into the box. Two outs, tie ball game. Opsgarden cuts on the first pitch he sees, fouls it straight back for strike one. Kyler Baker trying to work out the inning without giving up another run. Runner at third for Virginia. O one one count on Oaks Garden. And that pitch goes off the top of Oaks Garden's noggin. And he will stroll down to first base. The Funk Master, Braden Funk, steps into the box. Number 16, the first baseman for the Virginia squad. Runners on first and third. Ryan Barr at third. Cole Opsgarden at first. Baker sets. Kicks, delivers. And Funk takes right down the middle for strike one. Oaks Garden goes down to second, no throw.
Braden Funk, 0-1 count. Funk ducks under the 0-1 offering for ball one. Ball gets away from the catcher momentarily. No advance on the play. Baker comes set, delivers, and that ball's dribbled up the middle. Second baseman Fields throws to first in time, and that is the end of the inning. Not before Loudon South crosses two runs to tie the score. After one complete, Irmo, South Carolina, two, Loudon South, two. Kyler Baker finishes his first inning of work for Irmo, South Carolina on 17 pitches. Charlie Sampson to begin his second inning on the mound for Loudon South. He will start with 19 pitches. Do up this inning for the South Carolina squad, Jackson Phipps, Brody Ludlam, and Kyler Baker. Slow roller up the middle. Fielded behind the bag at short and fired over to first for the first out. Number 29, Brody Ludlam, the center fielder for Irmo, steps in. Pitch on the way, and that ball is driven up the middle, and Ludlam has a one-out single. Irmo seems to have changed their approach at the plate this inning. Both batters swinging at first pitches. Kyler Baker steps into the box. And Baker takes outside for ball one. One-oh count on Baker. And Baker takes right down Broadway for called strike. Snap throw down to first, not nearly in time. One-one count on Baker. 
and Baker drives that ball just off the glove of the first baseman, dribbles into right field. Baker has a one out single and Irmo is threatening again here in the top of the second inning. Back to back singles by Irmo. Let's go bring the nine spot up to the plate. Charlie Todd, number 32, the right fielder, left handed hitter, steps in. And the first pitch Todd sees, brushes him back off the plate for ball one. One-oh pitch on the way, and Todd with the flare. No play. Third baseman retreated. The first baseman had to field the ball. Todd with the approach shot going towards third. A lot of backspin on that ball. As soon as it hit the ground, it died. No play to be made, and Irmo has the bases loaded. Looks like we're going to have a defensive strategy meeting for the Loudon South squad. Irmo in a must-win situation to advance out of pool play. Loudon South playing for seeding. We're back to the top of the order for the Irmo squad. Chase Ellis at the plate. And Ellis takes a hefty cut, swings through the first pitch for strike one. Ellis with a walk in the first, came around to score. And Ellis takes outside for ball one. Bases are juiced for Irmo here in the top of the second inning with one out. Pitch on the way. Ellis takes high for ball two. Jackson Phipps retired six to three and then three straight singles by the bottom of the order for Irmo. Ellis takes inside for ball three. Three-one count. Let's see if Ellis has the green light. And he does not. And he takes on the outside corner for strike two. Count full. Chase Ellis at the plate. Pitch on the way. And Ellis swings through it for strike three. Two outs. Hart Masson Cup. Singled in the first, came around to score. Pitch on the way from Sampson. And Masson Cup with the soft lighter. First baseman goes back, makes the catch, and Irmo leaves the bases loaded to end the top of the second inning. Charlie Sampson finishes his second inning of work for the Loudon squad with 31 pitches.
do up this inning for the Virginia squad. Double alt Jeffrey Burpo leading off. And Burpo takes low and away for ball one. Burpo, Centrone, and then back to the top with Logan Hathcost. Burpo takes high and in for ball two. Burpo, a left-handed hitter, facing the right-handed throwing Baker. Baker from the stretch delivers, and that catches the outside corner for strike one. Two one count, pitch on the way. Burpo cuts on that pitch, fouls it back for strike two. Two two count. Burpo at the plate, pitch on the way. And that skips in for ball three. Burpo with a full count. Three-two pitch on the way from Baker. Cut on, fouled straight back. Burpo stays alive. Pitch from Baker sails high for ball four. Burpo with a leadoff walk. Due up for Loudon. It's Carter Centrone. Looks like we're going to have a substitution for Centrone. And it looks like we might also have a pitching change for the Irmo squad. We have a change on defense for Irmo. Kyler Baker finishes his day of work on the mound. Through 26 pitches, he does get the exception. He will be eligible to pitch tomorrow.
Lee Pointer taking the mound for Irma. He is substituted into the game for Charlie, Charlie Todd in the nine spot. And I will repeat it, uh, Kyler Baker finishes on 26 pitches. He will be eligible to pitch tomorrow if Irmo is able to advance. And looks like we're going to have a change behind the plate. Also, Kyler Baker has moved from the mound to behind the plate. And Norman Lopez, number one, is entering the game. He will bat for Carter Centrone in the one spot or nine spot. And the first pitch Lopez sees, fouls it down the third base line. Strike one. And Pointer, the lefty, paints the outside corner for strike two. Quick reset, two runs in for Irmo, two runs in for Loudon South. Base runner at first for Loudon with no outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Norman Lopez at the plate with a one-two count. Lee Pointer on the mound. And Lopez reaches out, little check swing, gets the ball past the third baseman. And he will be safe at first. Loud and South threatening here in the bottom of the second inning. Runners on first and second. And that's going to bring the top of the order back up. Logan Halfcost will come to the plate. Halfcost walked and scored in the first. Pitch on the way. Low for ball one. one -oh pitch from Pointer on the way. And that ball is drilled over the head of the shortstop. Left fielder goes to his knees to cut it off. Throw comes in, no play at the plate. Runner going to third. Throw gets over the third baseman's glove. Runner coming home, Lopez will score. And Logan Halfcost cruises into third. For those scoring at home, half cost with the RBI single, goes to second on the throw home, goes to third on the throw to third. J.W. Valentini at the plate. Valentini singled in, in the first and scored. Valentini quickly ahead, 2-0. Pointer fires. Valentini fouls it off down third base line for strike one. No outs. Bottom of the second. Loud with two runs in. And 
Valentini back to the pitcher, off the pitcher's glove, run scores on the play. Valentini is out with the RBI ground out. Ryan Barr singled to left in his first at bat, left stranded at third. Steps into the box with one out, nobody on. Pitch from pointer sails outside for ball one. Kicks, fires, outside again, ball two. Pointer working from the windup, kicks, delivers, and that catches the outside corner for strike one. Two one pitch on the way, and Barr delivers a one out single in the left field. Number 27, Daniel Lee steps into the box. Lee flew out to first, in the first. Lee with a two hopper down to third, third baseman fields, throws to first and gets Lee by a step. Looks like we're going to have a substitute for Loudon. And looks like that is going to be number 17. Jackson Cassetta will bat for Charlie Sampson in the five spot. And Cassetta takes the first pitch he sees, two hopper out to second. The second baseman fields cleanly and throws over to first to end the inning. Loudon South able to plate three here in the bottom of the second to take a five to two lead. Lee Pointer finishes his inning of work on 16 pitches.
Braylon Graham leading off the top of the third inning for Irmo. Graham flew out the left in his first at bat with a high drive all the way to the warning track. Left fielder made a great play going back on the ball. First pitch to Graham is outside for ball one. Samson delivers again outside for ball two. High pop, shallow right field. Second baseman loses the ball. Right fielder was pulled around into right center. Long run for him. The ball drops harmlessly to the turf and Braylon Graham has a leadoff single. And it looks like we may have a runner for Mr. Graham at first. Your attention, please. Now, entering the game as a special pitch runner for South Carolina, number 10, Hunter Lewis, for number 44, Brandon Graham. Hunter Lewis will enter the game as a special pinch runner and replace Braylon Graham at first. Now at the plate, Jackson Knotts, Knotts tripled. And Knotts with a drive into right center. Right center, I'm sorry, the right fielder was pulled around the right center. Had to take a few steps to his right to make the play and that will be the first out of the inning. Not sure if the Loudon coaches are employing Sabre metrics, but they do have a pretty heavy shift on with the Irmo team in the outfield. And it looks like we're gonna have another change. Charlie Sampson has reached the 35 pitch count limit and looks like we're going to have a change on the mound for Loudon. And it looks like Jackson Cassetta is re-entering the game and taking the spot of Charlie Sampson on the mound. Jackson Cassetta finishes his warm-up pitches, and the first pitch he delivers to substitute batter Jackson Schultz is lined foul down the first base line for strike one. Will Schultz has entered the game for Heath McElroy in the five spot. 
Cassetta from the stretch delivers off the plate for ball one. Cassetta delivers low and outside again for ball two. Two on count on Schultz, pitch. Fouled straight back for strike two. And the 2-2 pitch paints the outside corner. Je Will Schultz goes down looking. Jackson Cassetta gets the second out of the inning. Jackson Phipps steps into the box. He grounded out to short in the second. And first pitch Phipps sees, sails over his head for ball one. One-0 count on Phipps, and Phipps grounds the ball down third. Third fields it in foul territory for strike one. Charlie Sampson finishes his day of work. Two and a third innings on 35 pitches. He will be eligible to pitch day after tomorrow. And Jackson Phipps takes the 1-1 offering and delivers it into left field for a two-out single. Hunter Lewis running for Braylon Graham goes over to second. Irmo threatening here in the top of the third inning. Down five to two. Pitch on the way, a little high and outside for ball one. Brody Ludlam at the plate, sees the 1-0 pitch sail over his head for ball two. Jackson Cassetta working in relief of Charlie Sampson here in the top of the third inning. 2-0 count, set of delivers, outside, ball three. Brody Ludlam singled in the second, left stranded at third. Has a chance to cut into the Loudon lead here with a hit. And Ludlam takes outside. Irmo has the bases loaded here in the top of the third with two outs. And it looks like we're going to have another conference on the mound for the Loudoun South team. Kyler Baker steps to the plate. Bases loaded for Baker. Baker takes right down the middle for strike one. Baker singled in the second, left stranded at second. And Baker takes off the plate for ball one. Cassetta comes set. 
goes from the stretch. Grounded foul for strike two. Bases loaded for Irmo. Pitch on the way. High for ball two. Deuces wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded. Top of the third. And that pitch is lined foul. Baker stays alive. Jackson Cassetta trying to get through his first inning of work. Goes from the stretch, fires. And Baker takes just off the plate for ball three. Full count, payoff pitch on the way. And slow roller out to short. Short fields, fires over to first. In time to get Baker and Loudon South escapes without allowing a run. Big opportunity missed by Irmo, leaving the bases loaded in the top of the third inning. After two and a half, Loudon South Little League five, Irmo Little League two. And it looks like we're going to have a substitute batter for Cole Obstgarten. Braden Van Gemmert at the plate, number nine. Van Gemmert down with a quick 0-2 count. Pointer delivers high for ball one. Cassetta finishes his inning of work on 19 pitches. 
Van Gamert with a little duck snort over the third baseman's head into left field, and Van Gamert is aboard. Braden Van Gammert is replaced by Cole Obstgarten at first. Teddy Swigert enters the game in the seventh spot, batting for Braden Funk, and first pitch he sees lifts high on the infield, and the shortstop ranges over and makes the catch for the first out. Jeffrey Burpo comes to the plate. And Burpo takes outside for ball one. Burpo walked in the second, scored. Pitch on the way. Burpo swings through for strike one. Pitch on the way. Burpo takes off the outside corner for ball two. Two one count on Burpo, pointer delivers and Burpo takes high for ball three. Cole Obstgarten at first and he will be replaced by Jeffrey Burpo. Obstgarten goes down to second. Burpo with the one out walk. Carter Centrone steps into the box for his first official at bat of the game. Centrone takes right down the middle for called strike one. Centrone, a left-handed hitter. He was replaced in the second by Norman Lopez. So this is Centrone's first plate appearance. Centrone cuts on the 0-1 pitch. The first baseman for Irmo plays it off a bounce, off his hat, makes the play at first, fires to third, not in time. And Loudon has two runners in scoring position. Logan Halfcoss steps in for his third at bat of the game. Reached on an error, I'm sorry. Reached on a base on balls and singled. First pitch, Halfcoss sees soft liner right back to the pitcher for the third out. Loudon South leaves two runners on base, no runs to end the bottom of the third.
Lee Pointer finishes his second inning of work for Irmo on 29 pitches. Lee Pointer leading off the top of the fourth. First pitch he sees, grounded out to short on two hops. Short fields, throws over to first for one out. Chase Ellis at the plate, back to the top of the order for Irmo. Ellis has walked and struck out. Ellis takes high for ball one. Pitch on the way. And Ellis delivers that ball into shallow right center for a one-out single. Hart Mason Cup steps into the box. Mason Cup is one for two on the evening. Singled into first and flew out to the first baseman in the second. Cassetta fires. And that's high off the backstop. Ellis scoots into second base, and Irmo is threatening here in the top of the fourth inning. And Mason Cup chops that over to second. Second baseman fields, fires over to first for the second out. Ellis goes to third on the play. That's going to bring Braylon Graham to the plate. Graham is singled and flown out to left. And Graham takes high for ball one. One-0 count, and Graham, hot shot past the diving shortstop. Ellis scores on the play. Braylon Graham with the two-out RBI single. Jackson Knotts steps into the box. Knotts has tripled and flown out to right. Knotts takes high for ball one. One zero count on Knotts. Cassetta delivers. Knotts, hard shot up the middle. Shortstop fields, fumbles it. Still has time to step on the bag to get Graham and that will end the inning. Irmo scratches a run cuts the Loudon lead to five to three.
due up in the Loudon bottom half of the fourth. Valentini, Barr, and Lee. Valentini, one for two on the day. Singled in the first and grounded back to the pitcher. Valentini shows bunt, gets it down foul for strike one. one pitch on the way and Valentini takes on the outer third for a called strike two. O2 pitch and Valentini fouls that off at the plate to stay alive. Pitch on the way. Valentini with a slow roller. Third baseman cuts it off, throws just in time to get the speedy Valentini. Nice play by Braylon Graham to cut that ball off and fire it over to first to get the first out. Ryan Barr steps in. Barr. Two for two on the day. Dribbles the first pitch he sees foul down the third baseline. Barr with two singles. And Barr's out in front of the 0-1 offering, fouls it off. One one count on Barr. Pitch floats in high for ball two. Pitch on the way. Grounded out to short, short field. Fumbles the ball and Barr will be safe. A little like the shortstop had a little trouble getting it out of his glove. Bar safe on the play. Daniel Lee steps into the box, 0 for 2 on the evening. Pitch on the way, floats in high for ball one. Pointer delivers, fouled at the plate for strike one. One one count, one out, runner on first. Lee delivers that pitch into left field. Left fielder comes in, makes a sliding catch for the second out. Great play by that young man in left field for Irmo. Ball hit right at him, comes in, makes a sliding catch just off the top of the grass to retire Lee. Uh, it's going to bring Jackson Cassetta to the plate, trying to help his cause. And Cassetta takes low for ball one. Cassetta has grounded out to second. And Cassetta takes on the outside corner for strike one. Lee Pointer trying to get through the inning with, in, without any damage. Delivers again outside corner at the ladders for strike two. Pitch on the way. 
comes in high for ball two. Deuces wild, two balls, two strikes, two outs. And Cassetta takes low and in for ball three. Full count on Cassetta, pointer kicks, delivers, and Cassetta swings through the full count pitch for the third out. Pointer finishes the inning on 46 pitches. Heath McElroy leading off the top of the fifth, and first pitch he sees, grounded out in second. Second baseman fields it, throws over to first for the first out. Jackson Cassetta on the mound, starting the inning with 29 pitches. Jackson Phipps at the plate, one for two on the evening. And Phipps lines the first pitch he sees off the pitcher's glove. Pitcher recovers, Cassetta throws to first for the second out. Two pitches, two outs here in the top of the fifth inning. And it looks like we're going to have a sub entering the game for Brody Ludlam. Hunter Lewis entering the game for Brody Ludlam. Lewis entered earlier in the game as a special pinch runner. This will be his first official at bat of the evening. And Lewis takes high and in for ball one. Pitch on the way, high and in again for ball two. And the 2-0 pitch 
goes low and away for ball three. Quick 3-0 count on Hunter Lewis here with two outs in the top of the fifth inning. Nobody on. Cassetta comes set, fires, and that's off the plate as well. Hunter Lewis with the two out walk. And it looks like we're going to. Cooper Starling enters the game for Kyler Baker in the eighth spot. And Starling takes high and away for ball one. Two outs, top of the fifth inning. And Starling swings through that offering for strike one. One one count on Starling. Starling lifts that ball high in the air, center field. Center fielder drifts back, makes the catch for the third out. Center fielder had lost track of the outs. He was firing back to first to try to catch the runner. And at the end of four and a half, Loudon South American Little League out of South Riding, Virginia five. Irmo Little League out of Irmo, South Carolina, three. Cole Oatsgarden leading off the top bottom of the fifth inning and the first pitch he sees is greeted very rudely with a hot shot single in the center. Loudon South with the leadoff batter in the bottom of the fifth on base. Corbin Reichland entering the game, number 22. He will bat for Braden Funk. And the first pitch Reichland sees right down Broadway for strike one. And Reichland drills that ball into the hole at short. Short goes to the ground on his backhand side, can't make the play. Reisland with the infield single. Two out, 
two straight singles has loud and threatening here. And Burpo lines the ball to Short. Short fields on a hop, throws to third. Runner at second, didn't move. Third baseman fires the ball to second. First base runner did not move. The way the play worked, but the way the play worked, runners on first and second, ball fielded on a hop by the shortstop. Shortstop fired to third for the force play. Third baseman fired back to second for the first force play on the runner at first. Runners on second and first did not move. Burpo will be safe at first. Seems the Loudon coach has an issue with the way the play was called. No call was made by the middle infield umpire. Two outs. Burpo safe on the fielder's choice. Norman Lopez comes up to the plate. Lopez singled in the second, and Lopez takes high for ball one. Two outs, runner on first. And Burpo takes low for ball two. Two O pitch on the way. And Lopez drills that over to shortstop's head. Left fielder fields it quickly, fires into second, not in time to get Burpo. Lopez reaches on the two out single. That will bring us back to the top of the order and it looks like we may have a pitching change, I'm not sure, at least a conference for Irmo. Top of the order up, Logan Halfcost singled walk and flown out to first. Number three, Logan Halfcost at the plate, flew out to first, last at bat. And the first pitch, half cost C, lifted high in the air, shallow center. Center fielder comes on and makes the catch to retire the side here in the bottom of the fifth inning.
correction from last inning for the Irmo squad. My apologies to the family of Hunter Evans. Number 10 on my roster sheet is listed as Lewis. Number 10 is Hunter Evans for Irmo. And leading off the top of the sixth inning is going to be number 32, Charlie Todd, left-handed batter. And the first pitch Todd sees is a ball. Nine, one, and two do up for Irmo. Todd takes high for ball two. Irmo needs to play two runs this inning. And Todd takes high and outside for ball three. Jackson Cassetta trying to shut it down for Loudon South. Pitch on the way, high for ball four. Charlie Todd has a leadoff walk. Lee Pointer finishes the bottom of the fifth on 54 pitches. And it looks like we may have a change for the Loudon squad as the Loudon manager strolls over to the press box phone. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate for Irmo. Chase Ellis at the top of the order, representing the tying run for Irmo. And the manager for Loudon strolls out to the mound. Will collect the ball from Jackson Cassetta. And it looks like number seven, Teddy Swigert will take the mound. At the plate for Irmo, leadoff batter Chase Ellis. We're back to the top of the order, and Ellis takes low for ball one. Charlie tied at first, no outs. What a pitch for Swigert. Delivered into right field, right fielder comes on. And everyone is safe. Right fielder fields it quickly. Fires to second, not in time to get Todd. And that will bring the go ahead run to the plate in a way of Hart Mason Cup. And Mason Cup cuts on the first pitch he sees, fouls it straight back. 
for strike one. Swigert from the stretch, and Mesa Cup delivers that high in the air. Infield fly rule in effect. Second baseman makes the catch for the first out. Braylon Graham at the plate. Graham two for three on the evening. Two singles and a fly out to left. Braylon Graham steps into the box. Swigert from the stretch. And Swigert delivers low for ball one. Charlie Todd at second. Chase Ellis at first. Base runners for Irmo. Graham at the plate. Graham takes in for ball two. pitch on the way and Graham swings through the 2-0 offering for strike one. Two-one count, pitch on the way. Graham fouls that straight back for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, one out, two on. Top of the sixth inning, Irmo trying to answer. Down 5-3. And Graham hits that a mile in the air. Catcher goes out, cannot make the play. Called the third baseman off. Easier play for the third baseman coming in on the ball. Catcher with his back to the plate. Graham stays alive. And Graham hits that one a mile in the air. Pitcher comes in and makes the play along the first baseline for the second out. Jackson Knotts coming to the plate. Knotts has reached on a fielder's choice. I'm sorry, he was hit into a fielder's choice, flew out to right and tripled. And the first pitch Knotts sees is hit down the left field line. Left fielder goes over in foul territory, could not make the play and it's going to fall harmlessly to the turf for strike one. Knotts gets a second life here at the plate. Let's hope that doesn't come back to bite Loudon. O one one count on Knotts. Pitch on the way and Knotts takes on the outside corner for strike two. pitch on the way from Swigert. And that's low for ball one. One One-two count. 
not. Swings, ball lifted high in the air down the right field line, out of play. Knots will stay alive. One, two count, runners on first and second, two outs. Pitch on the way from Swagger. And Knotts delivers the two out single into right field. Right fielder feels the ball, play it to plate, not in time. Charlie Todd scores on the play. Jackson Knotts with the two out RBI single. Baseball karma strikes. First pitch not sees, he fouled off down the left field line. Play was not made. We're gonna have a umpires conference. Irmo Little League has cut the Loudon lead to one here in the top of the sixth inning with two outs. Runners on first and second for Irmo. Another conference for Loudon on the mound. Two outs. Heath McElroy at the plate. McElroy has grounded out and flown out. And McElroy takes on the outer corner for strike one. Jackson Knotts at first, Chase Ellis at second, and that ball is fouled out of play for strike two. Off the Kona ice truck. Two quick strikes on Heath McElroy. Swigert delivers, and that's grounded up the middle. Shortstop boots the ball. Ellis doesn't start running and he scores. Erbo has tied the game on the E6. Irmo Little League with two out, two run rally here in the top of the sixth inning to tie the ball game. Jackson Phipps steps into the box. Knotts goes to second on the play. Ellis scores. Irmo looking to take the lead. And the first pitch to Knotts paints the outside corner for strike one. Teddy Swigert keeps throwing strikes. Swigert delivers. Nice pick by the catcher for Loudon on the low outside pitch, 1-1 one, one count. Pitch on the way to Knotts, and he holds up. Ball in the dirt, no advance. My apologies, that's Jackson Phipps at the plate. Two one count on Phipps.
pitch on the way from Swigert. And Phipps takes high and outside for ball three. Go ahead run at second base for Irmo. Three one pitch and that's fouled straight back for strike two. Full count. Pitch on the way. And that ball is lined up the middle. And everyone is safe. Throw coming into the plate. Gets past the catcher. Urbo takes the lead. Phipps goes into second. Knotts scores on the play. McElroy goes to third. Aggressive base running by Urmo here in the top of the sixth inning gives them a six to five lead. Clutch two out hitting for Irmo. And it looks like we're going to have another pitching change for Loudon. Teddy Swigert will have the exception and be rolled back to 20. New pitcher for Loudon South. Looks like it's gonna be number 27, Daniel Lee. And the first pitch from Lee bounces in. Nice block by the catcher. Keep the ball in front, no advance on the play. Brody Ludlam at the plate for Irmo. And Ludlam grounds that out to short, short fields it. Throws over to first, in time to get Ludlam. Irmo, South Carolina with three big runs here in the top of the sixth inning to take the lead over Loudon South, six to five. Loudon South coming to bat.
Two up for Loudon South in the bottom of the sixth inning. Two, three, and four spots, Valentini, Barr, and Lee. All right, leading off the bottom of the sixth inning, J.W. Valentini. Valentini has singled and grounded out twice. And Valentini slow roller to third, third baseman fields, throws not in time, and Loudon has the leadoff batter on. Ryan Barr comes to the plate. Barr has reached safely in every at bat today. Reached on an error in the fourth, singled in the first and singled in the second. Pitch on the way and Barr takes on the outer third for called strike one. Offensive conference for Loudon. O oh, one count on Barr. Pitch on the way. Cut on. Gloved by the shortstop. Not able to make a play. Shortstop does a great job keeping that ball on the infield. Deep in the hole at short. Another infield single for Loudon. Tying run at second for Loudon. Daniel Lee at the plate. Winning run at first for Loudon. And we've got a ball that gets past the catcher and each runner moves up 60 feet. one -oh count on Lee. Lee looking to reach base safely for the first time this evening. And we're gonna have a defensive conference for the Irmo squad.
infield playing halfway for Irmo. No outs, runners on second and third. And pitch out for Daniel Lee. And the ball gets away from the catcher, play at the plate. Not in time, ball gets past the pitcher, one run in, tie it up, and the go-ahead run is out at the plate. <laughs> Bases are now clear, tie ball game, one out. 3-0 count on Daniel Lee. Go ahead run, just got thrown out at the plate for Loudon. Catcher takes a spot behind the plate and that is ball four. Go ahead run, heads to first base with one out. And we're going to have another conference on the mound for Irmo. And looks like we're going to have a new pitcher for the Irmo squad. Will Schultz, number 12, takes the mound. Nice evening of work by Lee Pointer. Leaves the game on 61 pitches. Now batting for Loudon South, number seven, Jackson Cassetta. Number 12, Will Schultz on the mound. And the first pitch he sees off the glove of the third baseman. Everyone is safe. Winning run goes into second. Cole Opsgarten 
at the plate, and it looks like we may have a change. Corbin Reichland enters the game as a special pinch runner. He will take the place of Daniel Lee at second. Cole Opsgarten at the plate. Winning run at second for Loudon South. Number 12, Will Schultz on the mound for Irmo, trying to work out of a jam with one out. And that pitch is high and in for ball one. One-o pitch on the way. And that ball is lifted in the air down third base line. Foul for strike one. One one count on Opes Garden. And Opes Garden lines the ball in the right field. Right fielder cuts it off, throws into home. Each runner advances 60 feet. Bases are now juiced for Loudon South. Teddy Swigert, number seven, coming to the plate for Loudon. One out. Irmo obviously bringing the infield in. Probably going to bring the outfield in as well. Any ball to the outfield would have to be caught. Pitch on the way to Swigert and Nice job of blocking by the Irmo catcher on the pitch far inside. one -oh count on Swigert. Schultz on the mound for Irmo. Pitch on the way. Grounder, shortstop fields, fires home, and the pit ball bounces in. Loudon South walks it off on the infield single. What a great ball game between Loudon South American Little League and Irmo Little League out of Irmo, South Carolina. Loudon South with the win will advance to elimination play tomorrow. Irmo, South Carolina will finish the tournament one and two. Thank you for joining us on the TOSC Network. Have a good night and drive home safely.